Hello everyone, welcome to another video, it is Francesco here. So what we're going to be doing in this video is checking out a resource called Feedly. Now as you guys know, I don't really check out too many resources outside of productivity apps, only because I like to cover productivity apps solely, but this application is something that I've actually been meaning to share with you guys for a while now. Now I've been using Feedly for about one or two years consistently, and I discovered it about three or four years ago. However, I've been really uh, consuming it in the last six months because it's been actually probably one of the best ways to bring together all of the news content that I follow. So as you can see, this is the web experience. I also have the iPhone app and that's how I sort of consume it. I log in through Facebook and as you can see, very simple experience. One of the things I start with is my Today tab, which brings together the most popular stories in all of the areas that I follow. So as you can see, my feeds that I follow are all um, which covers everything uh, and it actually gives you I, I like this view because sometimes you might need away from today favorites which uh, covers the ones that I follow most popularly um, and also I've got business tech language Newton uh, healthy uh, and also I cover other news as well so I like to cover stories and resources that um, are, are covering some of the things in my routine the places I work for uh, which really helps so I look at uh, the likes of Blinkist influencer marketing I keep updated with uh, so that I keep updated with all the knowledge around it productivity especially because I like to know what's happening in the productivity space remote work and a lot more now the good thing with uh, I've, I've recently added this boards feature which brings together um, all of the boards information so that I can share it with other people but the thing that I like the most is probably the ad content so down at the bottom you can add new sources so if you find a new blog that's very interesting then you can bring it on board uh, or you can add Google keyword alerts so for example uh, you can add the likes of Elon Musk every single news site uh, and you can refine it to specific news sites and languages if you want so that's I use a sort of freemium experience I don't really go outside of that although there is a premium experience it's uh, Feedly Pro which is allows you to like connect it to likes of IFTTD, Zapier, Evernote, Pocket etc which is quite good uh, I think that's probably something I should boost up to in the next few months but I haven't found a specific I don't use it enough necessarily to warrant the cost um, over on the profile uh, obviously you can build up uh, a profile yourself but uh, I was just trying to find I think it's preferences um, here we go you can see all of the general information uh, you can have like it what's the start page I have its index so it shows me all of the content out there uh, magazine style content you can basically modify all of these sections to be a bit more interactive to your experience you also got um, the the style I like sans serif and you can change all the fonts uh, you can actually change the theme as well so if you want Soctra uh, maybe I want lime that looks quite cool uh, but you can modify the appearance as well which is nice uh, saving and sharing as well um, you can integrate other services I integrated Evernote I believe uh, but obviously I can't use it um, so of course that's in the premiums but if I wanted to uh, save something so for example uh, I find the Fallout 4 VR is happening which is pretty cool right um, I can uh, hover over that one and choose the read later that will go into my read later and I've got a couple of other pieces in there uh, which help me to go back to it obviously I like to keep one inbox so there is the ability to export that because I now use uh, the likes of um, Insta paper. So as you can see, uh, if you want to save a story to a certain board, you can. But if I want to save it to Insta paper, um, I can. But that's a pro feature. So that's something that will only be specifically there. Now in freemium, uh, you can, uh, like for example, take up to 100 feeds. So I, I'm pretty much under that, I think. You can organize feeds into easy readable lists, save the best uh, stories to the boards. You can have up to three boards, mobile and desktop, and share to the likes of the other social media. There is a lot more in the pro and team. So it's something that I'm enjoying. I like the mobile app. It's really easy to use. You get sort of like a flip board sort of layout so you can flip through the items. But overall, the experience is very impressive, very easy to use, and something that I recommend as a news resource. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it gave you an insight into what Feedly is and what it does, but it's definitely something I recommend if you're looking for a better resource out there. Anyway guys, thank you very much. Make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very soon.
cheers.